Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 174. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now let's get into the content. This episode was streamed live on YouTube. If you want to make sure to catch the streams, then be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we are here for the Le Mans Circuit de la Sarthe. Um, I'm taking the GT500 GTR. Hopefully it's going to be a good car. It's the yellow one. So, it's yellow. That's a plus. Uh, we got 17 laps. Let's get going. Alright, here we go. Let's do this. Come on, little Nissan. I say little Nissan as if it's small. It's fucking huge, but... Oh, I've just seen that there's a saline in this. This might be a tough one. Though, to be fair, I'm kind of hoping that everything in this is homologated. Playing Simon, because he said, I can think better with the home in Ha! There goes the saline. The saline can't drive. I can't drive either. Oh, I forgot to shift up. That might help. <laughs> Blame Simon, because he said you got two lives down and one life left. When we catch a criminal. Holy tipples. So yeah, I um I've auto uh, uh, What the fuck was that? Stream is looking good, so that's fine. Um, yeah, I have ordered a new capture card. So I can hopefully start recording 4K content when it comes to uh, Horizon 1. But hopefully it means the bitrate is a little bit more smooth. Um, I'm going to start using it from Motorsport 4. This cost me about 100 quid. But, uh, what I'm... <sighs> oh my god. So what I'm doing is I'm going to be... Um, selling my capture card that I got at the moment. So if anyone wants a capture card for like 60 quid, hit me up. Because it's still a bloody decent capture card. But obviously I'm looking to upgrade it to a slightly better one. Ah, oh, you tip. Catch a criminal. Catch a criminal. Oh, this is a tune.
Right, so that's one lap done. We've got another 16 to go. And something I have noticed a little bit. Oh dear. That was the wrong time to focus on that. Uh, the wrong thing... One thing I have noticed is um, the audio for the game is a little bit on the louder side. So I'm going to turn it down ever so slightly. If I can find it. There we go. So I'm hoping that should be now oh, fixed. Yeah, get fucked, mate. Absolute knob cheese. I don't know why. I want to listen to this album now. This album that Darren Styles made. Absolute banger. Hey, hey. So on the straights, this thing isn't as quick as the McLaren. Damn. Yo, Nebula, what up? How are you today? Hopefully you're having a good day. Come on. Right, I'm squeezing past. What the hell are you doing? You absolute pillock. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that was harsh. Come on. Just woke up after my intense research of games yesterday. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. I'm going to rewind it because I'm not having engine damage for the entire race. I'm sorry, but this game is very clapped when it comes to engine damage and the fact that cars will brake check you like that. On corners, it doesn't need to slow down on. By the way, uh, if you guys haven't heard of Culture Shock, one of the best drum and bass artists out there. Oh, uh, I, I'm in a bit of a rabbit hole right now. And uh, I'm getting deeper and deeper. Uh, so Pendulum have tickets for a show in London. I think that's all that needs to be said. <laughs> I'm very much looking at getting tickets to go see them live. That's what she said. Yeah, that's what she said. It's getting deep. <laughs> oh, but, uh, yeah, Pendulum have tickets going on in London. And I really want to go.
Because I'd be going... Well, I'd go to see him. <laughs> that would be... Obviously. But the tickets are £65. So... That's already quite expensive as it is. But it, it's a day out, so... To be fair, for, like, prices, for stuff like that, that's quite cheap. You look at other artists, they'll be charging, like, 200 Something stupid like that. Um, so, 65 quid to go in. Fair enough. Uh, I found transport. But the problem is... Obviously, trains don't run past, like, midnight. So, the question then is... Obviously, getting home. I'd then have to get a hotel in London, sleep the night, and then come back home. So, a hotel in London is about 100 quid, again, for a night. So, adding it all up, including transport, taxi prices, and food, is about 250 quid. Ouch. That's about a quarter of my wage. In next month, I gotta pay rent. So, that's gonna be fun. Move out of the way, you prick. So yeah, what I'm aiming to do is to hopefully save a little bit of money. Um... And then use that money that I've saved. Oh, I've just seen your um, saline message. Because uh, YouTube blocked it. Saline in FM1 can fuck off. Yes, 100%. What the fuck are you doing? Right, let's rewind. I know I'm rewinding a lot in these endurance races. But unfortunately, the endurance ones... I need to rewind. I'm not sitting through it all. But yeah, the saline in Motorsport 1 is such an asshole. To be fair, it's an asshole in this game as well. But FM1 is asshole times a thousand. The problem is the saline is quicker on the straights. So much for these cars are supposed to be equal performance, huh? Or oh, sorry, mine is supposed to be performing better than all of them combined. <laughs> exactly. Uh, don't remind... I forgot that... That AI in Motorsport 1 just didn't understand how to use their brakes. Cheers for reminding me of that. Blue Mountain is fucking annoying. But, to be fair... Uh, what's the other one? Um... Alpine Hill? Alpine View? The Alpine track is amazing. I love it. Yeah, good thing I don't have to do Motorsport 1 again. To be fair, when I finished Motorsport 1... Um... That was the second time I actually completed Motorsport 1. Because I've already completed it before. I don't know where I put the videos though. I think it's in YouTube archives. I'll have to find it. And I'll post it as an archive or something like that. Which will be for Silver Tier or above. 
I'm actually quite tempted to download, or not download because I already have the raw files. I'm tempted to use the uh, all of the videos and edit them together to make like a Forza playthrough. Uh, but then I wouldn't be able to remove the microphone. I didn't think of this. Good idea, to be honest. A lot of devs are going to be delisting games. For a long time to come. Bye bye. Uh, I really need to put some Darren Styles on. Yeah, I'm, I mean, they probably are going to, and there's nothing we can do about it, but... I think the Crew 1 was better than the Crew 2. Hands down. But... Um, I'm actually really excited for Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown. Because that gameplay finally got revealed the other day. It got revealed after my stream on, I believe it was Wednesday. And it actually looked pretty good. Seven euro for all DLC. That's not too bad, actually. Shit. I am actually, um, what's it called? I think I've decided what the next mega series is going to be. But, yeah, you can't reset the save, that's the problem. Yeah, I think I've worked out what the next mega series is going to be after Forza. Um, it depends if I'm still into the game. Well, I was thinking WRC, but WRC, a lot of the game is very similar as you progress into the, like WRC 4, 5, 6, and 7, the career modes are all the same. 8, 9, 10, and Generations are all the same and then one two and three are all the same completely the same story modes actually i think one two and three have different story modes but all the ones by kt racing they're all exactly the same also i've just damaged that guy's engine so he won't be an issue no more 
But yeah, I, I'm thinking either WRC um, or my other thought was going to be the F1 series. So F1 2010 and beyond. Because that way I can get a steering wheel for all of them. Because obviously you can use a steering wheel in all the games. Um, or I may just use controller for the first four and then use steering wheel because I don't know how good wheel support was for the old 360 versions. But I'm going to do that, I think. It's going to be one single season of career mode in all the games. So it will basically be the official calendar that was available. And I'm going to be driving as Red Bull in all of them. So I'm going to have a really pretty good car. But yeah, I'll be driving as Red Bull Racing for all of them, so it's consistent. Uh, because I'm going to start with the Codemasters Formula 1 games, because it's Codemasters. Oh, for fuck's sake. Plus, I've got to have some form of structure to the series. If I just play any Formula 1 game, there's quite a few different... What the fuck are you doing on the inside of that corner? At least let me pass, you dickhead. There you go. Absolute knob cheese. And you're doing the same thing. Obviously you are, because you're saline, fucking prick. Yeah, the F1 2009 wasn't actually developed by Codemasters fully. Um, it was Cody's and Sumo Digital. Um, so, I don't think that counts. It's cool to know your thing. Because there is an F1 game for every year since F1 2010. So, hence why I'm picking that. Beep, 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 beep. Take a look at the kids on the street. No, they never miss a beat. No, they never miss a beat. Never miss a beat. Never miss a beat, never miss a beat. Right, so that saline is hopefully going to feck off. Uh, and I'm going to be pitting on lap 10, I think, at the end of lap 10. What do I think of F1 23 compared to 22? It's a million times better. Um, I've already got 60 plus hours. I think I'm getting close to 70 hours now in F1 23. It is so much more fun. It is so much fun. The soundtrack is amazing, and speak of the devil, this is actually a song that's in F1 23. I remember when you went in. What's it gonna put on my skin? But yeah, the soundtrack is fucking phenomenal. Like, it really, it, it's really good. The soundtrack. Um, what the hell are you doing, you pillock? Uh, the soundtrack's really good. The gameplay is like controller gameplay. I'm able. In the last game, I struggled on 70% difficulty, maybe even had to go to 60% with the last game. Uh, I'm currently on controller on 90% difficulty. Because it's so much 
it's not easier, it just makes more sense when it comes to driving. Like, I know how to drive a Formula One car around a circuit. What the fuck are you... How the fuck are you flying past? But yeah, the handling model and the controls are improved so much. Of course you're going to go in front of me to brake check me, you fucking Corvette prick. The Aston Martin doesn't know how to use its brakes. But it's damaged its own engine, so you can fuck yourself. Yeah, for the next race, I'm going to have to use the Peugeot. What the fuck are you doing? Oh my god. This Aston Martin. All of the AI cars, they're just hogging the driving line, even though they're slower. That's the one thing that pisses me off when it comes to driving. If you're slow, fucking get off the driving line. Okay, now I've got quite a lot to catch up. Yeah, Red Bull will be solid all the way through. multi pin on my skin. So yeah, today's stream is going to be a little bit shorter because I want to get all the endurance races out of the way first. Um, and then I'm going to finish. So once I've got the endurance races done, which is obviously this race and the next one, I'll probably end the stream. Because um, the next stream is going to be on Sunday. I got three streams in a row, chat. So tomorrow morning, um, I'm going to be streaming F123. Then Sunday afternoon, all the way till like night, I'm going to be streaming as much of the World Championships as possible. So now my car's limited to 153 instead of 160, like it was before. So that means these straights are going to be more difficult. Somebody just needs to take the saline out. Uh, I don't have the Porsche DLC. I've got um, Storm Island though. Whoa! Pray to see you. There goes the saline. <laughs> it's just been a roadblock for this. How the hell did that not damage the McLaren? Fuck me, that's an indestructible thing. But you know it was me in there. Of course you're gonna ram into my ass. 
this is why I'm not scared to crash into the AI. Because of the fact that they're just crashing into me as well. Like, I'm going to ram into these fuckers. I don't care. Can't stop what I'm doing. What I'm doing until you can't stop. It made fucking long though. I might go and pit at the end of lap nine. Give me some clean air to actually drive. Why would there be a need for an Xbox One emulator? So here's the problem, right? Consoles from older generations. Let's let's look at, um, for example, PS1 era. Okay, PS1 had a lot of games that were made just for it. PS2 had a lot of games made just for it. PS3, PS4, etc., etc. Right? The problem is Xbox One. 99.9% .9 of the games were made on other platforms. So you could get the games on Xbox, you could get them on PlayStation, you could get them on PC. Once you start having games where a lot of them are made on other platforms, people will just end up getting them on PC. You just end up pirating them as a PC version and that's how, because there's no point in emulating it. You think Fallout 4, for example, okay, is on every platform. So why would you make an emulator to try and emulate that? You wouldn't. So that wouldn't be the cause of it. The only games that I think anyone would even remotely work on an emulator for is Halo, which has the Master Chief Collection now. So again, that's pointless because it's on PC. And Forza Motorsport, which... Who's going to try and emulate Forza Motorsport 5 and 6? No one. And 7's on PC. The only game that I physically think anyone would even remotely bother to try and make an emulator for is uh, Forza Horizon 2. That is the only game I think anyone would even think about making an emulator for. I was on your mind. So yeah, I'm going to pit on this lap actually. Because then I'll do nine laps on the second stint. Because I need to repair my car. I need to repair the suspension and whatnot. Especially after I've just gone and done that. Let's rewind. I do find it funny that I'm on medium difficulty and this race is fucking difficult. Yeah, but when you think of it, like the amount of development work that goes into making an emulator, why would you put all that effort in just for 10 games? PS2 emulator, there's like thousands of games, so the effort makes sense. There are loads of games that you can get running on a PC with the emulator. 
the problem is those games are not going to be running on uh, when you make an Xbox game. Yeah, serves you right, you prick. Fucking McLaren is pissing me off. Oh look, I'm gonna hug the road because I'm in a greedy cunt. Right, I'm hoping to have gained a shit ton of time on those guys in the pit lane. Because they're going to be driving really slow down that pit lane road. Like that. You see how the McLaren has just... The saline's come in, but it's now miles behind because it's gone so slow. Oh, but it's completed its pit stop. <laughs> It wasn't due to the system. A lot of people think it was due to the system that Xbox One made. No. It didn't get jailbroken because they offered people running custom software, so nobody bothered. Oh, what, what would I rather do? Would I rather sit down and spend forever trying to crack the security of the Xbox that's going to be constantly updated? Or do I spend $20 to just unlock it so I can run whatever software I want in its own exclusive dev mode that actually saves everything and keeps all the stuff so I can run it in both modes. Hmm. I'm going to go for the second option. It's a no-brainer. I don't understand why Sony didn't do it as well. Because if Sony did it, it saved so much money and they don't have to send out dev kits. That's, that's another thing. Obviously, the dev kits that Xbox sends out are like pre-production ones. So that developers can develop games before the production models come out. But like, you genuinely can just use a normal Xbox to develop on. Squeeze my way through. Now that the saline is that far behind, kind of hoping I've got a nice window of opportunity to just pull away now. Obviously, the McLaren F1 is going to be getting a lot of speed, but... What the fuck was that, Ferrari? space that is mine now thank you very much appreciate it goodbye you'll see a lot of the other cars now pitting on this lap instead it 
See, absolutely flown past them. Come on, we got this. Yeah, the original Xbox One is 10 years old this year, which is crazy to think. I remember when the original Xbox One came out and we were like, oh my gosh, the Xbox 360 is 10 years old. And this was back in 2015. Oh my gosh, the Xbox 360 is 10 years old this year. Now we're doing it with the Xbox Series consoles. And what's even worse is in two years' time, the 360, this console that I'm on right now, is going to be 20 years old. And same with Motorsport 1, is going to be 20 years old in two years' time. Cars are all catching up on the straight. That's not really weird. It's Mac exclusive. That is weird, though. Mm. That car behind is supposed to be behind the saline because it's slower than it. How the fuck is it doing this? Damn, this is going to be tough. Bing bong bing bong bing bong bing 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 bong bing bong bing bong bing 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 bong bing bong bing bong bing 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 the other day Well he just drove off sometimes that's okay I ran my mouth off a bit too much oh what did I say Ding 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 Okay, so that car's become faster. Pay for special perks, I still have to watch ads. I really wish that was a feature on YouTube, but nothing I can do about that one, unfortunately. But at least you only have to watch one ad with YouTube live streams. Unlike Twitch that forces you to watch like 
three minutes of ads every hour. At least this way you watch one ad and that's it. Yeah, you slow down. You slow down. You slow down. Prick. Even then, I'd much rather have two adverts and have it out of the way than have to sit and watch an advert every 10 minutes. But that was the only way that I could get paid from advertising. Otherwise, you don't... Twitch, right, takes a... 90% cut of all ad revenue. Right. If you use any less than three minutes of ads an hour. And if you use three minutes of ads an hour, A, you sort of start earning for those adverts. And B, the revenue split goes up to about 55% to the creator and 45% to Twitch. Which again is a shit ad like revenue split but it's the only option to actually get paid from adverts and potentially fund the channel <laughs> the car just fucking binned it I was like he's going really quick round. he's got oh no he's not on the track anymore <laughs> that's fucking brilliant Oh, you can get a clip of that one if you want, lads. That's fucking hilarious. I got a nice gap now. From the start, uh... Did you wrong her? I did you wrong her? This is one of the most challenging races I've done in a while. At least I'm ahead at this section so I can actually gain a significant amount of time and I don't have to worry about passing anyone. Out of impulse. Did you wrong her? Huh? Did you wrong her? Huh? Okay, so the rewind button isn't working. Lovely, it's done exactly the same as what it did in the last race. That almost fucked me over, but now it might actually fuck me over because it's the saline behind me that's really, really fucking quick. Oh, this game's pissing me off. Yeah, get behind my ass right now. Brick. 
beep, beep, beep. I can't even see the cars further down. So I am miles ahead, but obviously it's the saline. The saline's got engine damage. And it's still catching up to me. Oh, this is a good song. Night is all I need with you one more night. At least the uh, revenue split on YouTube compared to Twitch is so much better. Ah, uh, it's going to be nice to get my capture card though, because I'm gonna I'm gonna be swapping out and selling. Oh, by the way, Pandy, are you are you needing a capture card at all? I'm selling a capture card, like a a good priced one, as well. One more night. One more night. One more night. <laughs> This car's absolute dog shit. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, if you have aerodynamic damage, it actually affects the game. So, that's not ideal. I've got five more laps to go. Right, let's see. We've got four and a half laps to seal the deal, pretty much. So. So where are you now that I need you? Where are you now that I need you? Honestly, Skrillex is amazing as an artist. Like, a lot of the songs that he makes and that he produces for are absolute bangers. Right, so the saline's fucked it and now I've got the McLaren. <sighs> Fuck's sake. That McLaren's fast as well.
Fucking hell. Holy fuck, Knuckles. This is tough. I'm basically becoming fat. That's what I'm doing. Stopping the AI from being able to overtake. Like that. Yeah, fucking tosser. <laughs> Get in the bin. Might not want to overtake, cause I'm gonna whoop your ass. Come on, we got this. After this lap, it'll be three more laps. Oh shit, I forgot to block. I just said, hey McLaren, come on pass. <laughs> oh, I fucked the McLaren up. <laughs> ah. I don't feel bad at all because the McLaren's crashed into me. The saline's crashed into me. Everyone's crashed into me except for... No, the Corvette crashed into me as well. I think whatever car is in last place hasn't crashed into me. Which is not good enough.
I still don't get how in half a lap you can overtake me. Well, I get why this game has some serious rubber banding issues. Oh, this is a different song. Tell mommy I'm sorry, this life is a party, I'm never growing up. Oh fuck, I've just remembered the next race is going to be fucking Nürburgring. Ugh. Fastest cars in the game around Nurburgring. Oh, it couldn't be worse. <laughs> yeah, I once was a kid, and I was a dream. More money, more problems when I get it. I'm a So the McLaren now has engine problems as well. So I'm hoping that it makes it a little bit harder for him to catch up on the straights. Do I, it's actually worked. I've given the McLaren engine problems now, which fucking I've got zero clue how it's taken this long to do that I hate the fact that by the end of this race it's going to be an hour and ten minutes and we're going to be separated by like two seconds that's terrifying and it might not even be two seconds tell mommy I'm sorry this life is a party I'm never growing up Life is a party. I'm never growing up. Oh, you motherfucker. Get back here. Oh no, now the Maserati's caught up. Fuck. Now everything else is catching up. The Maserati catching up is bad news because the Maserati, for some reason, has extreme rubber banding issues, but it still can't drive around this section.
Two more laps to go. Two more laps to go. Go. Two more laps to go. Two more laps to go. Go. Two more laps to go. Two more laps to go. Go. Two more laps to go. Let's do this. Two more laps to go. Go. Two more laps to go. Go. Two more laps to go. Go. Two more laps to go. Two more laps to go. Go. Two more. What's such a tune? Let's go. Go. Two more laps to go. Go. Two more laps to go. Go. Two more laps to go. Time to go. Time to go. It's two more laps to go. Go. Two more laps to go. Right, but this is the one that I'm worried about. Maserati, get the fuck back. Get the fuck back. Now I got two of them to worry about. Ah! I'm weaving. A wee banana, a banana, don't fall down. <laughs> Come on, go. This is so horrible, I hate this! It's the last two laps as well. So if I lose it on these, then... I'm just gonna die. Guess I'll just die there- Ah! Oh, you motherfucking whore. Oh, it doesn't matter anyways, because the fucking thing doesn't know how to drive. So as soon as it gets into first place, it just fucking bins it. <laughs> <laughs> fucking stupid Maserati. Oh, that's twice now. He's just binned it on every single fucking corner. That's fucking hilarious. And if you think otherwise, you're wrong. That's fucking funny. Sorry, Mr. Maserati. You gotta get your bunda back. Get your bunda back. Get your bunda back. Get your bunda back. Get your ass right back there, motherfucker. Oh, you tit! Oh, I'm so lucky I've got rewind. Oh, that's even worse! He spun! Oh, that's fucking hilarious. That's actually funny as fuck. Come on, get out the way. Get out of 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 the way. I love this song, by the way. In case anyone's wondering what this song is, it's called The Drill by The Drill. Original mix. It's actually quite a good catchy song, so. Right, this is it. This is the final lap. F1 2010 is pretty good, but the problem is no game is as fun, in my opinion, than F1 23 at the moment.
Like, 23 is so playable. I can drive around Monaco. None of the other Formula 1 games, I can actually drive around Monaco that well. But this one, I can drive around Monaco. Like, that's got to be saying something. That's why a lot of the Formula 1 games I'm going to be driving in with wheel. Uh, just because of the fact that the controller mechanics, other than F123, the controller mechanics are pretty dog shit. See, as soon as he's behind me, he drives really well. But when the Maserati overtakes me, he crashes the next corner. It's like, oh look, I've got a straight. I can go as fast as oh no, never mind. Wow, wow. Right, this is it, the final lap. This is the one that counts. And this is the final section. I've got three straights to defend on. The first straight I've done alright on. This is technically the second one. Oh, he's hit me in the ass. He's hit me in the ass. Assault. Assault. Sexual battery. Get get back. Get back. God, this fuck is on my tail. Come on! Oh my gosh, I got the McLaren now. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck! Right, I'll let the Maserati there because it's going to slow down. And I'm hoping from this point onwards, they're not going to catch up now. But there is a key word in that sentence, and that word is fucking hope, and I have none of it right now. Oh my gosh, I may have just pulled this off. Damn, at least it wasn't as bad as the last race, because the last one I literally just crashed into everyone, hoping that I'd come first. So... I literally had to destroy the first place car to force it to make a pit stop. To win. Oh my gosh, I got the win. I'm so excited. I'm so happy. Oh, that was fucking tough. That was difficult. But, I'll take it. <sighs> and that is Le Mans done. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.